There we go. All right, everybody. So believe it or not, we're going to start standing. So grab one of your blocks, and I'm just going <laughs> to. All right, we have a mad uh, weed eater blower thing out there. It's making me crazy. So grab one of your blocks and place it between your thighs. <laughs> I know it's strange to start standing. We don't do this very often, but I want to make sure the legs are good and warmed up uh, before we do some of the deeper stretching that we're going to do in just a little bit. So start with the block between your thighs. Give the block just a nice little squeeze. Roll your shoulders uh, back and behind you. Take a nice deep inhale. Reach up. Exhale right to your heart. Good, and inhale, reach up. Exhale it down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, down, two more right here. Inhale, take it up. And exhale. Last one, inhale, reach up. Exhale, just bring your hands to your heart, roll your shoulders back and feel this variation of mountain pose. Usually our hands are down along our sides. Um, but here I just want you to feel how your legs are engaged. <clears throat> Sorry, your belly is toned, the shoulders are back and down, the elbows are heavy. Your thumbs resting on or near your heart. And then if you're comfortable standing, close your eyes, pause here for a moment. Feel your breath. Maybe take in the sounds around you. Maybe feel the temperature of the air on your face. And just notice. And then maybe for a moment, set your intention, not just for class, but maybe an intention or a dedication for this coming new year. And then release those hands. I want you to curl your wrists. Really good, nice curls. Curl the other way. Spread the fingers out nice and wide and then curl them in and tuck those wrists. Good, open them up, spread the fingers and curl and tuck. Good, one more, spread big wide fingers and curl and tuck and then shake them all out. Uh, take the block out from your legs. Take the feet a little bit wider than hips width apart. Toes are all pointing in the same direction. Knees are pointing straight over those toes. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Your squat here, you don't have to go deep, right? So maybe you're just a little bit here. And then inhale, reach up. Exhale, come on down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take it down. Good. Two more. Exhale. Last one. Up you go. Exhale, down. Hold here if you can. Remember, your squat is your squat. You don't have to go super deep, and I wouldn't go really deep. It's a bit early in class. And then reach the arms forward, pull it back. Good, inhale. Exhale, pull back, reach up. Whew. Yeah, reach forward, reach forward. That's it, two more. Last one, and then stand all the way up. Exhale, forward, pull all the way down. Soften the back of your knees. I'm just gonna turn sideways so you can see. Soften the backs of your knees. And just start to wiggle those hips a little bit, side to side. That's it. Just start to stretch it out, finding your breath. Good, couple more here. And breathe. Feet are a little bit wider than your hips width apart. Bend the knees a little bit more, take your hands to your knees. And come on up. Good. Roll your shoulders. 
Take the feet even wider on your mat. Bend your knees, let your hands come to your, just the tops of your thighs. And do some cats and cows here. So cow is that big rounded back up toward the ceiling. And then cow to elbow lifts, head lifts, belly drops down. And feel your pose. You can take your feet as wide as your mat if you want. Just starting to warm up your spine as you tuck and then lift. Yeah, a couple more. Good, and lift. Last one, tuck it up, tuck, 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 and lift. And then come to a neutral spine. Shoulders move away from your ears. They draw back and down. We feel the back start to activate. Just reach your right hand forward. Your left hand stays on your knee. Good, big deep breath. Find that pose. And then reach that same arm back. Good, reach it forward. Reach it back, watch your low backs here. Nice tone to the belly. And back, one more time with that right arm. And back, and then put that right hand back to your knee. Reach the left arm forward, just feel the stretch. Nice big tone to the belly, everybody. Find your pose. And then reach back. Good, reach forward, reach back. And forward, three more, reach back, reach it forward, and back, reach it forward, hold it back this time, reach the right arm back as well, either take your hands to your deep back pockets, or interlace the hands, and stretch the arms back, but don't lock the elbows, keep them soft. Your thumbs are resting on your sacrum, you're going to start to forward fold here. Bring the front shoulders away from the floor. Lengthen through your chest. Reach the arms maybe off the sacrum. Find your breath. For some of you, the arms are gonna be able to come up toward the ceiling. For others, that's not appropriate this early in class. Breathe. And then reach those hands back down to your pockets. Come all the way up to standing and roll it out. Good, and then turn sideways on your mat. Take your feet a little bit wider. Hands come to your hips. And I want you to simply just step tap to tap. Just to find your distance, your comfortable distance, stepping sideways. <laughs> Starting to remind me of my 80s yoga classes. Keep the knees soft, just tap. Don't take it too serious just yet. Good, and then when you're ready, try kicking your heel back toward the opposite hip, right? So kick it back. Watch for the walls and things that might be behind you. That's it, kick back. We're gonna be doing a lot of quad stretches today. Wanna make sure those babies are warm. Good, breathe. Five, four, three, two, one, pause, turn those toes out at roughly 45 degrees, bend your knees, take those knees away from the midline, right? So we don't want them dropping in, we want them out, shoulders are back, belly is toned, take the arms up, find your breath, stay on the legs straight, exhale, elbows bend, knees bend, and up, take it down. And three here, and down. We're doing 10, by the way. Pace yourself, that's four, up, and five. There you go. And six, watch the knees. And seven, and eight, nine, woohoo! And 10, let's see if we can hold. Drop those hands to your thighs, squeeze the shoulders up. Oh, and just soften those upper traps, right? Those upper trapezius muscles that get so, so, so tight. And bring those shoulders back down to neutral. Take the torso forward, hold, breathe. And stand it all the way up. Oh, good. And then shake it out. Come up 
to the front of your mat. You're going to want both blocks up at the front of your mat. Actually, let's grab our strap before we come down. So grab your strap. Hopefully you have one. If you don't, don't worry about it. And take your strap into a nice small loop. That strap's going to go around your feet. So just so you know what's happening there. Okay. Good. So take the strap down to your foot and then tighten it up a little, but make sure there's plenty of space. I have the strap around my right foot. I'm going to take the strap around my right shoulder, right? Some of you might want to be near a wall, something that you can hang on to. We're not going to be there too long, but stand nice and solid on your left leg and just see if you can walk the strap up to stretch your quadricep. Your other hand can be on your hip. It can be on a wall, a chair, a desk. Some of you are going to be able to go deeper. Find your breath. If you don't have a strap and, or you don't like using it, your hand can go to your foot and you can find your stretch there. The knee points down toward the floor, right? It's not splaying out. Good. We're going to come back to this later and slowly release. Just bend down, switch sides. Easiest way to do it. And the strap for me gets tight again, so I have to loosen it a little bit and then walk it around. So now it's around my left foot. I'm taking the strap behind me and over my left shoulder. I'm gonna find my focus point, maybe hold on to something if I need it. And then just start to pull the strap up to bend the knee to stretch the quad. Your other hand is on your hip or it's up toward the ceiling, your left knee pointing down to the floor, your left hip point pressing forward just a little bit, no back bend, right? Just a quad stretch. Breathe. And let it come on down. Good, now set your strap aside. We're gonna use it several times, so keep it nearby and have your blocks toward the front of your mat. All right, here we go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale all the way down. Take your hands to your shins halfway up, halfway. Nice length through your tailbone, right? You swoon to the belly, and then exhale down again. Soften your knees, and step back with your right leg. Pause here, step back to downward facing dog, Let's get ourselves nice and stretched out. That's it, baby wiggle hips, side to side. Maybe start to stretch side body. Remember belly is toned, finding our breath. That's it. And then inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, lower your knees to the floor and come on down to your bellies. That's why we had to warm up first, because we're already down on our bellies. Good, so start by just relaxing your upper body. Um, maybe if you have a blanket, you have a blanket under your hips, especially if you're not on something cushy. And lengthen your tailbone, press into your cubic bone, and just bend your right knee. And straighten it. Stay with the right side, bend, and straighten. Good, bend it, straight in. Last one, bend and hold. And I know several of you have some knee issues, so just be mindful, don't overdo it, right? So from here, press both hip bones to the floor and see if you can lift your right knee off the floor, even if it's just an inch or two. That's it, feel your glute <laughs> engage, right? Know what it is? And lower that down and release it. Good, switch to the other side. Bend your left leg and straighten. Good. Bend and straighten. Good, one more here. Bend it and straighten it. And then bend it and hold. Flex your foot, press your hips into the floor. 
that's really important because otherwise you're in this little back bendy thing, right? So press the hip bones down to the floor, lift your left knee off the floor any amount that you can. Find your breath. Keep pressing the hip down so that you're not overarching in your low back. Feel your left glute engage. That's it. And lower down and straighten the legs. And then bend both. Press both hips down. See if you can lift your right leg and lower. See if you can lift your, lift your left knee and lower. Good. Two more, both sides. Lift and lower. I know this is funky. Lift and lower. Last side. Lift or last step. Down, left leg lift and lower. And then take the legs down and come up to Sphinx Pose. Sphinx Pose, elbows right under shoulders, your hands, your wrists straight out from your elbows. And notice your belly. And then they want you to wiggle again side to side. What we're looking for here is a stretch through the deep belly. So that's what we're trying to find. We're not just wiggling for the sake of wiggling. We're just seeing if we can find that deep psoas muscle. Maybe you lift the elbows. One elbow off the floor, then the other. Yep, stretch it out, everybody. Watch your low backs. Tone your belly. Breathe. Good, and then take it all the way down and grab your strap, roll over to one side and find your back body. So again, even back bends, small back bends, so early in class can feel a little funky on the low back. So we're gonna stretch it out for a moment, knees to chest. Breathe. Keep your right leg in, stretch your left leg long. And then switch, right leg long, left knee to chest. And then both feet on the floor, take your strap, your loop and put it around your right leg and take that up to the ceiling. And just pause for a second. Feel this, maybe straighten your left leg. Maybe not just yet, maybe the hamstrings are warm enough still. And notice shoulders to the floor, belly is toned. Maybe lift the left leg to get a little bit of core work going. Maybe you can hold on to the loop instead of the tail, but you don't have to. Just see where you're at. If you're holding the loop, let the shoulder be heavy. Good, just breathe. Nice tone. And then one, stay here, or two, your left hand goes behind your head. Inhale first. Exhale, crunch it up. Now I'm holding the weight of my head, but not pulling on my head, right? We know this by now. Find your breath, one, stay here, or two, reach your left hand toward your left foot, looking down at your left foot so that your head's not dropping, it's tucked. That's it, finding a little bit of core, and release your head, release your leg. Bend your left knee, and switch sides. If you can, just scoot one foot into your loop, and the other foot back down to the floor. Pause here for a moment. Straighten the right leg if that is appropriate for you. Watch for softness behind the knee. You want softness, so watch for that. Shoulders draw down. Maybe you're holding the loop all the way up instead, but maybe not. Don't overreach the left shoulder to find that. And then lift your right foot off the floor. Still pause. Still feel that, start to tone that deep low belly a little bit more. Shoulders to the floor, head is comfortable. And either stay here, or take your right hand behind your head. Lift up and find that deeper core work, right? Breathe, you got this. And then only if you want, reach for your right foot. Find that, see if you can really lift. You can use the strap for support, but watch the back of the head, watch the neck, no irritation there. And exhale, Whew. release, take your right foot back into 
your little tiny loop and then switch sides again. Your left foot is on the floor this time. Right hand to the strap, right, the loop is around your right foot. And just take your right leg out to the right a little bit. I'm up against wall, so I'm not gonna go very far. Maybe I take my left knee out to the side to counterbalance. Tone the belly, breathe. That's it. And then take the leg up, listen up. First I want you to just cross thighs. So your left thigh is going toward the right, your right leg is going toward the left. You'll feel a good stretch in that outer right hip, hopefully. Scoot over so we can see what we're doing on the camera. And then release that, but I want you to just let both legs come to the left. So your left knee is dead, it's coming to the floor. Your right leg is straight, it's coming to the floor. You lay on your left side, holding the strap still, right? Find that, just a little stretch. You can even use your bottom arm to support your head. <sighs> Good. So here's where we start to use the strap, strap again for a quadricep stretch. I want you to lift the leg. So right there, we're working. Bend your knee, let the strap rotate around your shoulder. Take that strap behind you, right? It's over your right shoulder. And you're just going to use the strap. <laughs> Watch your buckle there and bring the leg back. Your bottom leg is at 90 degrees on the floor and it's supporting you. Now you'll notice, right, if you bring your right knee forward and bring it back, bring it forward and back, you can feel that deep belly stretch. Good, one more, bring it back and then maybe hold here and see if you can find the stretch, not just in the quad, but maybe into the psoas muscle, into that deep, belly core muscle good notice now a slight the slightest ever tuck of your pelvis so not cow but cat just a little bit and you'll feel that belly and that quad stretch a little bit deeper notice if you're bringing your knee up or splaying it if you are um, try not to do that try to keep it level and also notice if you have knee pain if you do let that strap out until you don't, because that's a pretty good compression of the knee for those who have some challenges there. Good, one more deep breath, everybody. Oh, and release. Bring that knee back up. Maybe loosen your strap. Me pulling on my strap, it gets a little snug. And then take that right leg forward. Take it up to the ceiling. Allow yourself to roll back onto your back. Bring your left leg up. Pause. And then just bend your knee. Take the strap out. And release for a minute. I'm going to turn over because I have no space behind me. And feel that. And maybe notice that any... Um, discomfort in your low back is already gone, right? Because we're stretching everything around it. So when you're ready, take the strap around your left foot. Your right foot is on the floor. Whew. We're drawing the shoulders down. The strap's in your left hand. Your right knee goes out to the right. Your left leg goes out to the left. Just a nice wide leg, supine wide leg stretch here. Notice the hips, they're nice and even. The belly is softly toned. The shoulders are down. Your face is soft and happy. That's it. And then cross thigh over thigh so that your right knee is heading toward the left. Your left leg is heading toward the right. You feel this nice juicy stretch on the left hip. That's it. The strap is in my right hand now, just to, just, it's easier to hold it there. Deep breath. And then take the left leg back up to neutral. Hold on to it, the strap with your left hand. Start to curl over to your right. 
Your right leg comes to the floor, that leg's 90. Your left leg comes to the floor and it just rest for a second. Here's a sweet little twist we didn't really focus on on the other side. That's it, big deep breath. And then when you're ready, straps in your left hand, your bottom arm can support your head. Lift that leg off the floor, your left leg off the floor. Bend the knees, circle that strap around your shoulder, and then pull it down a little bit toward your front chest to start stretching the quad. Be mindful that you're not going into a back bend, that you're really staying focused right here at the front thigh, maybe into the front hip crease, maybe into the front belly without overarching, especially when you're really flexible here. It can be easy to just like, oh, you know, go way back into that back bend and then bring the knee forward and bring it back and bring it forward and back. Good, one more here, bring it forward. Bring it back, hold, slight tuck of that front hip bone, slight tuck of the hip. Maybe you go deeper, maybe you don't. Maybe you go less because you're feeling some yuckiness in the knee. <sighs> You'll pretty quickly know which side tends to be tighter. Keep squeezing the low belly so you don't arch. Good, and then release that stretch. Take the leg back out in front of you, hovering off the floor. Take it up to the ceiling. Oh, and take it come right back onto your back. Bend your knee, release your strap. Both knees to chest. Roll over to one side. We are almost done with all that warm up. Good, come to a nice easy seat. Have your strap where you can get to it again in a little bit. And then inhale, reach up. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Left arm reaches over, stretching side body, and then reach over your right knee. Circle it all the way up. Two more here. Stretch your side, reach, and circle. Last one. Exhale, and reach, and circle both arms up. Left hand to the floor. Take the right arm over, press down through the right hip. Reach over your left knee, circle it around, three of these, inhale up, exhale, big circle, stretching it out, yeah, one more, and stretch, and release, both arms up, both arms down, good, roll it out, and let's come to table pose, again, you've got your strap, it's in that soft loop, I just made mine a little bit bigger, you may want to be, you may want a towel or a blanket underneath your knees. Um, I know some of us have some knee issues. We'll try not to be there too long, but we're going to be on our knees for a little bit. Have both of your blocks on your mat, uh, at the front of your mat. And from table pose, take your hands to your blocks and step forward with your right foot. Now, normally we talk about alignment, knee over ankle, right? That's really important. But sometimes you can go past, I mean, you really can all the time go past, um, as long as you're more static. I wouldn't bounce here. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't do quick movements here with my knee past my ankle. But certainly we have that range of motion. So for you, if your body allows, go ahead and let your knee and past your ankle, maybe to the straight line of your big toe. And feel the stretch in your left quad, your left groin, right? This leg that's back and straight. Your hands are on your blocks. Flip your toes under, lift your knee, hold. Yep, still that knee is slightly in front of your ankle. Feel the stretch, start to lengthen your torso, tone to your belly. You can always keep the left knee down. Squeeze your left glute. Good, your blocks are under your shoulders. Hands are to the blocks, begin to straighten your front or right leg. Once 
that land is straight for you. By the way, right? Hamstrings. Straight might be this for you because hamstrings are tight. It's all okay. Once your leg is straight for you, lift your toes off the floor and stretch out the back of the leg. Keep your knees soft. Keep the hamstrings reaching back. Quad is active. Hips are even. Remember last class, if you were here, we worked a lot in keeping that front hip wrapped back. Good, try to soften the touch of your blocks, your hands, right? So that you're not relying on the blocks to keep you sturdy, you're relying on your core. And then lower your toes, bend your knee, lower your left knee, find that stretch again, and release. To release, just switch sides, right knee back, Left knee forward. I thought I would try to keep my hair down, but it's making me crazy. So let's get this hair out of the way. Oh, curly, curly hair. All right, there we go. Now you can see. All right, so left foot forward, right knee back. You're not on your kneecap. You're forward, thigh forward of the kneecap. And you're just going to let your left knee go past your left ankle, maybe line it up somewhere around the toes. You don't have to go that deep. Feel your right glute start to get active. Feel the right front thigh start to stretch. And just check it out. Maybe breathe. Maybe smile. And when you're ready, flip toes under, lift the knee. Again, that is optional, but once you lift, higher up that leg. Let the hip be active, let the glutes be active. Toll the belly in, lengthen your torso, chest checking it out, seeing what's happening with the leg. Sometimes we move quickly, right? From pose to pose to pose, and we miss all this juicy stuff. This is the juicy stuff. Good, when you're ready, slowly start to straighten your front leg to your level. The front hip wraps back and down, the hips are even. You could put a cup of tea on those hips and it wouldn't go anywhere. I would recommend trying it though. <laughs> Good, just find that your front foot is even, your ankle is even. Start to lift the toes in the front, hold, watch for hyperextension. Try to keep the blocks, the hands on your blocks light. Instead, all that power is coming from here, right? It's coming from your core. And just check it out. For me, the left side is much more open on, uh, from a hamstring standpoint. Uh, often your non-dominant side is more open. Your more dominant side is stronger, but a little less flexible. So uh, that seems to be true for me. Right side is always tighter, but I'm just gonna stretch it out. And then lower your ball mound, bend your knees, stretch it out. Breathe, lower your right knee, slide your left leg back to meet it. Your blocks are on medium, please be careful. Make sure your blocks are fully on your mat. Lean into your hands, flip your toes under, find plank on blocks. If you feel unsteady here, one, lower the blocks to low or take them out completely. You've got to press straight down on those blocks and keep them steady. And then knee taps, right? We're doing 10, so there's one, opposites, two, three, four, Five, think of a treadmill. Six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold here, really squeeze up your belly, press out of your blocks, and then lower your knees. Oh, maybe a little child's pose. If child's pose is too much on your knees, then walk the hands forward for puppy stretch. You got it. Big deep breath. Good. Come on up, everybody. Lock. 
Palms are back in play. Those are back in front of you. Your right foot steps forward. Hand into your blocks. And by the way, you could go higher. You could go to highest level. Just watch that tippy, you know, the tippiness of it. Walk the knee forward of your ankle again, just a little, right? It's not overly. It might feel like a good stretch for the back of that ankle. Pause here, really move toward the very top of your left knee, not the, like the top edge of it, almost at the thigh. That's going to be important because as we bend the back leg, we don't want to roll over the kneecap so much. So bend and hold. Maybe wiggle the hips. Let me tell you, quad, quad stretches. Woo! In yoga, we stretch the heck out of hamstrings. But we don't stretch quads that much, and we should. We really should, as far as the should word goes. Good. Release that knee. Watch the kneecap. Drop into the hip. The tone the belly. And one more time. Bend the knee. Find your breath. Big stretch here. And release it. Press back. Switch sides. Move it a little slow here. I want good, good stretches. Your left knee just sails past your left ankle a little bit. Your right knee bends. I'm not holding on to my blocks for dear life, right? You should be fairly light here, so keep reminding yourself not to drop in too heavy. Stretch that heel toward your hips, again to your level. Knee stuff, right? We all got it. <laughs> Breathe. Release it one time. Drop the hip, but squeeze the glutes. And then bring it in again. Big deep breath, everybody. And release it. Set your blocks to the side of your mat. Slide your left leg back. Plant your hands on downward facing dog. Right down dog feels so good after all that. <laughs> Leave your blanket in place if you can. Walk your hands back to your feet. Open up your shoulders, soften your knees. Hands come to knees, come on up. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Circle out your shoulders. Take your hands to your back pockets. Press into the back pockets. Squeeze your glutes. Lift your chest and release all the way down. Forward fold. Walk your hands back out. Downward facing dog. Plant the hands, pedal the feet just a moment or two. You should be feeling pretty open at this point. And then lower down to your knees. Grab your little block or your little strap. You're going to take your strap around your right foot. Just do the best you can. And by the way, if you don't want to fuss with the strap, don't worry about it. Okay? And then the strap's going to go around your right shoulder. I know it's hard sometimes to watch the screen and what is she talking about and all that. So you're back to table pose. Step forward with your left foot. Take your blocks in front of you. You've got the strap. You probably know where we're headed here. <laughs> so breathe. Take the strap over your right shoulder, but hold it with your left hand, okay? Not your right hand. Take your right hand to the floor. And then start to pull on your strap. Make sure you're not sitting right in that kneecap. And breathe. Ooh -hoo. You can even take the strap over your left shoulder and see how that feels. Just watch for any torque on your right knee. You're above your kneecap, well above your kneecap. I'm hoping that you can feel this without pain in the knee itself. Good. Strong tuck of the belly. Pull in on that strap. Find your breath. And release it. Just keep it where it is, but release. Oh, maybe straighten your front leg. And breathe. All right. So come on in one more time. You're not going to go as deep. Take the strap around your right shoulder. 
If you can, if your knee allows, bend your knee. You don't need the strap, you can use your hands, but I want to use the strap here and I'll tell you why. Your left hand comes to your left knee this time, and you're going to see if you can hold the strap in both hands over your head. No big deal, don't go super deep, tone your belly. Maybe walk your hands down the strap a little bit, elbows forward. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Great. And then just let that strap slide out from under you. Slide back the left knee, walk the hands forward, puppy stretch. From puppy stretch to sphinx pose, releasing that leg completely. Little back bend, feel your belly. I know, tricky little class here, baby. Good, and then bend your knees. Hardest part of this is just getting out of the strap on one side and switching sides. So take the strap around your left foot. Snug it, I mean, don't make it tight, but just so it's not sliding too much. And then the strap goes around your left shoulder. It's like a little pulley system, right? And your right foot comes forward. Hold that strap over your left shoulder. It can just sit there for now, stretching into your pose. Your right hand is on your knee. You can start to lift. Really lean forward here. Stay well off that kneecap. And then just pull the strap. Maybe the strap will go over the right shoulder. Maybe your left hand goes to your block. Right? Smile. <laughs> this is why we did standing warm up in the beginning. Because this can be intense. <coughs> If your quads are wide open, I'd like to know who you are. Uh, if you're active at all, the quads can get really tight. So breathe. That's it. Oh, yeah. Good. And then release for a second. Just let that foot relax. Stay up a little bit taller. One, either just stay here. Or two, that strap goes overhead. Both hands open up your chest. Squeeze your glutes, press into the floor. Breathe, maybe the hands walk down the strap a little bit. Oh yeah. And then just let it slide out. I know, hang in there everybody. Take that strap off your foot. Set it aside. <laughs> Say happy things to your strap. It's a good teacher. And then plant your hands, downward facing dog. And just bend one knee and then the other, everybody. Stretch it out. And walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Pause here. Bend your knees, hands to knees. Come all the way up. Grab one of your blocks. And take it between the legs, just like we did when we started. Just take it there. If your blanket is on the, now you can probably leave it there unless you feel like it's going to be a trip hazard. So just squeeze. So squeezing the block is a bit of a reset, right? You get those hips back in alignment, activate the inner line. The legs start to go, okay. I might forget about everything we just did. <laughs> Find your breath. Inhale, reach up. Exhale all the way down. Just stretch. Let the head be heavy. Breathe. Good. And then bend your knees. Hands, come to your knees. Come on up. Release your, release your block. They should probably be toward the front of your mat. And then come right to the front of your mat. Now, because I don't have you right in front of you, I want you to be mindful. We're going to move toward pigeon pose. 
And I just, I'll give you lots of options, but please be mindful again of, of your lovely knees. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, halfway up, just stretch. And down. Good. Soften and step back to downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Plant the hands, pedal out the feet, move the hips, stretch your side body. All of those lovely things right there. Good. And then I want you to think of some of a weird thing. Take your left foot, your left leg, up to the ceiling and bring it to your chest. Take it up again, but this time thread it like you're threading a needle so that your left ankle is on above your right knee. Think of figure four, but we're doing it in down dog. Soft knees, chest toward thighs. If this is too much, take it back to the floor. Good, so breathe. Release it, lift it up again, and take it to the floor. Always take a break if you need to. Good, other side, left or right leg lifts up. It comes all the way to your chest. It lifts all the way up again, and then it threads itself through so that your right ankle is on your left, above your left knee, but your left knee is soft, soft. Don't lean into it. Big deep breath. Release it, lift it up again, and lower it down. Walk your hands up all the way to your feet. Bend your knees, come on up. Roll it up, shake it out. Curl your wrists. Now, if that was where you want to stay, stay there. If that was too much, just take it down a notch, right? Always, always take care of your body. We're going to add to this. So inhale, reach up. Exhale all the way down to the floor. Walk out to down dog. Plant your hands. Tone your belly. Lift your right leg. Take it to your chest. Lift it up again, figure four, ankle to knee, soft knee, pause. From here, plank, pause. I know this is what happens when I eat too many cookies. We work harder. Oh, good, down dog, release that leg, lift. Exhale, down. Walk your hands back. Shoulder strength, arm strength. Bend your knees, hands to knees. Come on up, all the way. Good, take it down. Walk it out. This walkout stuff's on purpose, by the way. We strengthen the muscles of the wrists, the arms, the shoulders. Left leg up, remember down dog is an option here. Bring it into the chest. Reach it up. Needle it through. Find your figure four. Slide forward to plank. Breathe, keep that leg attached. And down dog, release that leg. Woo, lower that foot. Bend your knees, oh yeah. And a little child's pose, or maybe hero pose, maybe thunderbolt pose. Maybe you just sit back on your heels. Roll out your shoulders, curl out your wrists. Breathe. We think about that poem that we read earlier before we started class about what pose will you choose this year, right? Where will you decide to go with your thinking how you take care of your body, all of that stuff. Challenge, yoga poses can be challenging, but they shouldn't be painful. You should not be in a joint space in particular, wrists, elbows, shoulders, knees, hips, in which you are in pain. So try to find that difference and choose to get into the pose where there is no pain. All right, are you ready? There we go. Table pose. We're going to add to this. Here's where we're coming in pigeon, 
I'm going to take one block to my side. I have one block near where you can grab it because we might want that under our hips for pigeon. All right. Plant your hands. Lift into down dog. Make sure your shoulders and your back body are supporting your pose here. We're going to do everything we just did and add on. So right leg up. Breathe. Bring it to chest. Squeeze in. Bring it back up. Thread that needle, ankle to knee. Figure four in down dog. Makes it a little trickier, right? From here, float forward to plank with that figure four still in place. And then all you're going to do, squeeze your belly, by the way. All you're going to do is bring that knee forward toward your right wrist and find pigeon pose. So sliding the left leg back. I know it might be hard to see with the, with the black pants, but maybe your block goes under your right hip. Maybe even just for the beginning of it until we warm up. Now, pigeon is an interesting pose. Um, if, by the way, this hurts, if your body does not do pigeon well, I want you to drop to your side hip, to your right side hip, and do what we call lazy pigeon, softening your back knee. You're still going to get that hip stretch. You won't get as much front left leg stretch. So please take that option, or use a block under your hip, or if you're particularly open in pigeon, maybe you don't need a block at all. Stretch out your belly, everybody. Notice your pose. So pigeon starts as a back bend, right? That's why we're on our hands. Maybe you can lift up. Feel your pelvic floor muscles engage. Feel your left glutes engage here. Chest is tall. And then maybe you come on down to your elbows. Right? Maybe you stay here. And just breathe for a moment. We're coming back to this in a minute, so we're not going to stay super long. Big deep breath, everyone. If you're down on elbows, press into your hands. Lift the pelvic floor muscles. I used to talk about this as being like on an elevator. You're down on the bottom floor here. I want you to come up to the first floor, right here, right, right through the pelvic floor muscles. Draw them up. Lift your left knee off the floor, step back, downward facing dog, pedal it out. We're going to do the other side before we take the break. Left leg up, bring that knee to chest, lift it up again, thread that leg needle, figure four, plank pose, Woo! breathe, hold strong bodies here. And then slide the left knee up toward the left elbow. Your whole foot's on the floor. Lower your right knee. Maybe shimmy that leg back a little bit. Check your hands. If your wrists are screaming, go to soft fists. Remember, a block under your left hip might feel just marvelous. It might be what you need to sustain the pose. Or you've dropped down to your left hip and softened your right knee. Still keeping the torso forward. You got it. Try to go light at first. Maybe you're on fingertips. And then draw the elevator up, right? Squeeze the low belly in. Squeeze the pelvic floor muscles. And then maybe come on down to elbows. A lot of times if we're doing pigeon, people will come down to elbows right away because it's easier. So we challenge the fullness of the pose first, and then we go for, oh, I could just stay here and go to sleep, right? <laughs> right, so. And this may be super challenging on your hips, that left leg hip. So if it is, be mindful. Don't sit. If it's too much, come back up. All right, so everybody press into your hands. Level out your hips. Start already to tone the belly and lift that pelvis up the elevator. <laughs> Flip your toes under, lift your knee off the floor, step back to down dog. 
Walk your hands up to your feet. Bend your knees. Come on up. Yeehaw. Grab your block. Place it the long way between your thighs. Squeeze your block. You got it. Shake out your wrists. I like to squeeze my wrist uh, right at the uh, two little bones of the wrist. Um, it just feels good. It feels like that also kind of resets the wrists. Give it a good squeeze. Find your breath. Mold, just for a moment, I want you to just try. Take the block at its second level. We've done this a couple times. And as if you were getting on a horse, <laughs> bring it as high up uh, in the upper thighs as you can comfortably. And you don't really have to squeeze it because it's already going to feel like you're squeezing it. But maybe you see if you can bring your feet parallel uh, toward the hips and you're going to feel a big um, kind of compression or press through those inner thighs. And just pause. If this is no way, no how, go back to the, the skin of your lung. And just soften everything else. Just pause here for a second. Shake, shake, shake. All right. Come on off your horse. <laughs> shake it up. Bring the block back to the front of your mat. We are almost up with this little series, my friends. So back to the front of your mat. We're going to finish this one off. Inhale, reach up. Exhale down to the floor. Soften your knees and step back to downward facing dog. Pause here for a moment. Lower your knees to the floor. Grab your trusty little loop and put it around your right foot. Using your strap is optional. <clears throat> you don't want to mess with it, don't mess with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then just kind of throw it over your shoulder. If it slips off, uh, don't worry about it. I just thought of this. You could even maybe keep it loose, but tuck it somehow so you don't lose it. All right, hands back to the floor, downward facing dog. Yep, there it went. So that's fine. Just keep it off where you can grab it. When you're ready, <laughs> it's not going to work. It's not going to stay on my foot. <laughs> All right, hold on to that strap somehow. Good. Lift the leg up. Take that knee to chest. Lift it up. Take it to figure four. Breathe. If it falls off, we'll put it back on in a minute. Hang on. Plank pose. I have the wrong foot. Got it. Switch sides. That's why I was slipping. All right, sorry about that. So straps on your right foot. My bad. Left leg up. <laughs> Little warm up. Knee to chest. Good. Lift up that left leg. Finger four, down dog. Breathe. From here, plank pose. You'll see what my madness is about in a moment. Breathe. Now come to pigeon, left knee toward left wrist. Shimmy your right foot back. Keep your pigeon um, short. What that means is if you're used to pigeon and you're used to taking that left leg out. We're not gonna go there today. If you're used to doing that, don't do that. Keep the heel close to your hip. Keep your left heel close to your right hip. And then just pause. And then draw up the elevator. Take your block under your left hand. Maybe even your right hand, getting some lift. Squeeze up, bend your back leg. Find your strap. You knew I was going somewhere with this. All right, so the strap is around my right shoulder or my left, it doesn't really matter. Grab the strap with your left hand and give it a little snug. Now, some of you are gonna stay here. Some of you are gonna put your block under your left hip to support this so you're not working so hard. And then both hands behind your head. Oh. 
Big deep breath. Don't go, don't go hard, right? Maybe you're, you walk your hands down your strap. Elbows are pointing forward. I have the block under my left hip because I want to take care of my body. Good. Draw the pelvic floor muscles up. Press your legs into the floor. King pigeon. Breathe. And then slide that strength out. Woo. Take the block out from your hip. Listen up. You're going to just release your left knee. Slide down to your belly. And release the legs. Ooh, yeah. Big deep breath. <laughs> I laugh at myself when I get all kerfuffled. <laughs> I get one side off on the other side. It's all good. It's what makes us human. All right, my darlings, we got one more side for all that work, right? So, best you can. Come on to your knees. Take the strap off your right foot and put it around your left foot. There we go. The strap is just on the floor nearby where you can get to it. And then from there, downward facing dog. And breathe. <sighs> Right leg lifts up. Bring your knee to your chest. Bring it up again. Feed your four legs. Down dog. Soft left knee. Don't forget. Don't lock out. Plank pose. Woo. Hang in there. I know. Breathe. And then slide your right knee to your left wrist. Keep your right heel close to your left hip. Your right heel close to your left hip. Maybe grab a block and set it under your right hip. And then just see if you can start to lift up. If you can't lift up, if those hands are going anywhere off the floor, that's awesome, right? It's not about what you can do, not do. It's not. So the strap is over your right shoulder. Maybe your other block is under your left hand. That's going to help you do some lift as well. And then just notice, before you even bend the leg, can you draw in through the pelvic floor muscles? Can you engage the left leg's glute muscle? And then very carefully, you're going to bend your knee. You're going to slide that uh, strap up. Maybe you're going to take the arms overhead. Maybe you're going to walk those hands down. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> breathe. Oh, you got this. Watch your back bend. Knee hurts. Slide that strap longer. No strap is an option. Just lift your chest. Notice your pose. Does it feel good? Even if it's hard, does it feel like, oh, yeah. Or does it just feel like, yeah. It feels like yeah. Let it go. And then everybody let it go. Ooh, hands to the floor. Take the block out. Lower down to your elbows. Interlace your hands. Lift your right knee. Slide your left leg out. Plank on elbows. Squeeze your body. Lower down fully. Space pose. Big deep breath. That's it. Mm. Good. We're almost done. Down dog. I think I worked myself out pretty hard today. <laughs> and walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Oh, bend your knees, the straps off your foot. Come on up to standing. When I was preparing this class, 
I thought, should I go really like easy, gentle, moving toward the light of the new year? Or should I make it really active and we can burn off all those holiday calories? And uh, you probably know which one won. <laughs> Feet are wide, strap is wider. Take it up and then take it back. Soft knees, just stretch out. We've done tons and tons of work. We've done more upper body than we think with all the holdings. Uh, just stretch out the chest. Soft head, soft neck, right? Everything moving here. Maybe lower it down all the way down to your hips. And then take it up and release it and roll your shoulders. All right, so if you're on a big thick mat, go ahead and move it out of the way. This is our final standing pose. And what have we been doing all class? We've been opening, opening, opening this front body, small back bend, strong poses, right? So we're gonna move this to uh, what seems obvious to me, which is dancer pose. It's everything we just did, only standing on one leg. <laughs> so if you wanna be near a wall, a chair, a bed, anything, uh, go ahead and do that. You're gonna take the strap around your right foot and just snug it a little bit, just so it, you know, you should be able to put a couple fingers under there, but just so it won't slip and slide. And then take the strap up and over to your left shoulder, <coughs> excuse me, and just have it just enough snug. So you're gonna stand on your left leg and you're gonna fire that baby up. You are gonna just rock and roll with that leg, engage the quads, engage the outer hip, the glute, don't lock out your knee. And then you're just gonna consider. So those of you with balance challenges, maybe you just tap the big toe back, right? And take the hands up or take the hands back. But otherwise, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use this little pulley system. We're gonna pull the strap more into the front of the chest to see if we can find that um, quad stretch. And then we're gonna take both hands behind our head. Hold the strap. Elbows are forward, not splayed out. And then only if you want, use the strap to lift the leg, come forward any amount that you want. Woo. Thank you all. Breathe. <laughs> oh, that looks so much better when I was practicing. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, breathe. All right, let's take the strap around your left foot. I think I've just overdone it a little bit. Right foot forward, left foot back, straps over your shoulder. <coughs> Maybe come to your big toe and just think about it. Good. When and if you're ready, you're going to stand tall on that right leg. You're going to squeeze and fire up the glutes. You're going to pull that left leg up. Don't let the legs play out. Maybe take both hands overhead so both arms are holding the strap. Belly tones. Only when you're ready to see if you can tilt forward as the leg lifts. The more you tilt forward, the harder more challenging this pose might be. Maybe the hands walk whoop, further down your strap, right? We just find it, we experiment, we breathe. That's it. Whew. And release. Shake it out. Whew. Take the strap out. Grab your block one more time. <clears throat> and take it between your thighs and squeeze. Good, otherwise mountain pose. Otherwise, just breathe, plant your feet. Maybe close the eyes. Remember we started here. Come 
come back to center. And imagine what clothes you are going to choose for this new year. Will it be a pose of fear or a pose of love? Will we meet our challenges with equanimity, with hope? Good. And slowly, just nice, deep increase. Come on down, forward fold. Block is still in place. Head is heavy. And from where you are, release that block. If you are sideways on your mat, come back to the front of your mat. Step back to downward facing dog. Come all the way to tippy toes. Lower your knees to the floor. And then in your most yogi way, I want you to come down to your backs. Keep your knees bent. Don't straighten the legs just yet. Feet to the floor. Couple of pelvic tilts and tucks here. You got it. And then a neutral spine. So not a tuck, not a tilt. A little tiny space behind your low back. Bring your left knee to chest. Straighten your right leg along the floor. Take your hands behind your left knee. Take that leg up to the ceiling and then listen up. <clears throat> I want you to actually push your left leg into your hands until your arms are completely straight and then resist the pull. So I'm really pulling pretty hard with my left leg, <clears throat> but I'm resisting, I'm holding on to it. And then just barely lift your right foot off the floor. Good, roll the knees to chest. Switch sides, your left foot is on the floor, your right leg is straight up, straight in your left leg, <clears throat> and let it rest. Just hold for a moment. And then push your right leg out away from your hand so that your arms get really straight. And you're really pushing. Okay, another reset for the hips. Lifting your left foot off the floor just a few inches. Keep pushing your right leg away from you. Keep breathing. No extra tension in the shoulders. And lower your left leg. Bring your right knee to chest. Both knees to chest. I want you to wrap both arms outside your legs. And maybe interlace, just barely interlace, or hold on to one finger in the middle and take the legs up to a variation of happy baby. <sighs> maybe rock side to side. Now, if this is super easy for you and you want to go for ankles, the arms are inside the knees, the soles of the feet are parallel to the ceiling. Still easy, you're grabbing your outside, your pinky side of your feet. Drawing the knees toward the side body, shins are parallel with the wall. Feet are standing on the imaginary ceiling. And then create a tiny space in the lower back. Even if it's not a space, it's the idea of a space. So your sacrum is down on the floor. Deep breath. Release. Oh. Knees are toward chest. Arms come out. T or either T position or cactus. Feel your chest. Allow the knees to roll to the left. Come into an easy twist. Twist, by the way. You can always take a block underneath your knees to lighten that twist a little bit. 
So that, think of that. Stretch out the chest. Stretch out the spine. Soften your gaze. Soften your smile. Breathe. Take one knee up and then the other. Both feet to the floor. Just resituate your hips, knees to chest. They drop down to the right. Head is neutral. Maybe the head's looking to the right or maybe it's looking toward the ceiling. Eyes are closed. Deep breath. Soften everything. Bring one knee up to center, the other knee to center, both feet to the floor. Shift your hips into the center of your mat, straightening one leg and then the other for a very well-deserved Shavasana. <sighs> if arms are anywhere that's comfortable, back of the neck is long. There is no holding, no tension. Start to feel your jaw soften. Feel the pools of your eyes soften. Feel the belly soften, the legs heavy. Find your breath. your mind wanders, let it come back to your breath. If it is your choice to stay in Shavasana longer, this is a short Shavasana, we've run a little over, so please stay in Shavasana if you would like. If you are ready to move, go ahead and wiggle your toes, your fingers. Bending your knees, starting to come back up to your seated pose. 